Hurricane Ida made landfall in southeast Louisiana. It's a Category 4 with 150 mile power winds, tied for the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in Louisiana. And there was a, a lot of destruction. When it was moving into the northeastern states, it merged with a cold front and a dip in the jet stream. That actually helped energize it some, and it helped focus the rainfall over a narrow area. Tropical weather systems, they typically, um, when they make landfall, they generate some tornadoes. Because this tropical weather system was transitioning into more of a mid-latitude weather system, it had the spin of a tropical weather system, so that helped provide the rotation needed to get tornadoes forming in places like Maryland and New Jersey. There was 10 to 15 inches of rain, locally up to 18 inches of rain near New Orleans. In New York City, they got about five inches less, but the impact was much greater simply because there's nowhere for the water to run off. Everything's paved over. But the lack of runoff and the city infrastructure in New York City is what led to the more extreme flooding there. This was not actually unexpected. The National Weather Service, more than two days out, had put a flash flood watch in for the entire region from southern and central Pennsylvania through New York City and into Connecticut. They had declared a rare high risk of excessive rainfall. But for the person on the street, they see a flash flood watch. Flash flood watches are put into effect all the time. Sometimes, you know, people who are just looking at their phone apps, they, they may see a little rain icon on their app, or they might just say heavy rain, but they have no idea as to the um, extreme nature of what could happen. If you warm up the climate, you're going to have stronger hurricanes. Warm ocean waters are the fuel for hurricanes. Climate change also likely um, intensify the rainfall associated with the system. You had 3.15 inches of rain in New York City in a single hour, which is the most on record. And the rainfall rates and the rainfall amounts we saw in New York City are only expected to occur about once every 200 to 500 years. 